Um, so I'm Kate Salmon. I'm 34. Um, I'm a trained actress um, and director um, from North Wales area. Um, mainly musical theatre is what I do. My name is Hannah Hobley. I am 32. Uh, I have a background in television. So my, my most notable role was playing Chantelle Garvey, mother of Coolio in ITV's Benidorm. So obviously in the light of um, this current pandemic, obviously theatre is not uh, where it should be at all. In fact, it's kind of ceased in the last few months. That pretty much by September, it looked like that all pantomimes were going to kind of not happen. So our wonderful producer, Anton, decided, well, let's see if we can do something online. Um, and what a wonderful achievement um, to not only put an online pantomime, to do an online pantomime, pantomime can't say it, um, with um, a huge cast. We've got Kerry Katona, that's um, our body. We've got a couple of chasers. We've got Mark Lebet and Anne Hegarty. Um, and we've got a bit of something for everyone. So we've got EastEnders, we've got Coronation Street, we've got Hollyoaks in there, we've got X Factor. Uh, Normally you have like one of these names in a pantomime. Yeah. But the fact is like everybody was there. Everybody, all of Anton's kind of favourite names from all of the years, they all came back and they all agreed to do this. Uh, and it was really quite surreal. I was part of the creative team, so writing and directing as part, um, as well as performing in it. And then the wonderful Hannah uh, was one of our core cast and got kind of presented with this weird concept of an online panto with also a storyline that wasn't a known one. It was a brand new original script. So Hannah, when you read the script, what did you think of it? This was the best script, panto script, that I've ever read it worked because you think how on earth are you going to get so many characters into one story um but it was also like like a mashup of all the different pantomimes and all the different characters that all been introduced into the script and it was it was fantastic it really worked like don't get me wrong the actual rehearsal week I'm sure Hannah can vouch for this was utterly bonkers like normally it takes us the best part maybe an eight-day rehearsal going into a live theatre but we rehearsed it in three days and filmed it in one day really intense, intense but like the best kind of intense but um you know just so well organized and it just all it worked like clockwork didn't it I can't speak on behalf of everyone, but I think a lot of them would have done it for for free because it was innovative, it was fun, and we had an absolute great time. Obviously, it created jobs for us, which we're extremely thankful. And it all just kind of married and, and worked together. And because of the nature of the project, everybody was on board. And just even though it was intense, everyone just pulled in and, and worked together. And I suppose that kind of falls into the positives as well. I think because we've worked with, a lot of us have worked together before. So like a personal positive was working with Hannah because we met on our first contract together. I'm just gonna show you something that... now. Are you ready for this, Emily? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is my living room wall. And the, here we have Kate Salmon. I see her face every day. <laughs> that was the first pantomime that I ever did for Anton Benson Productions and hey. the panto that, that changed my life. A big part of it, obviously, um, was <laughs> scheduling it. Um, so in terms of actually, like, because another thing as well, COVID has thrown such a huge spanner in the works. Um, you think about how close people are on stage together in order for pantomime to work, slapstick comedy. Everybody was COVID tested, so that was one kind of thing that we kind of adapted to. But in terms of the actual, and obviously the filming of it is completely different. How about the most difficult bit? It wasn't getting up there and doing the scene. It was not having the feedback, which, you know, you you as a, as a performer, you feed off that energy. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it was just, it felt so good to be in a theatre and it felt so good to be standing on a stage again. The Real Pavilion, which was, um, and luckily, so, so lucky, when we kind of booked this, it was in the middle of lockdown. So luckily at that time, obviously Wales and England have a different um, ways of managing lockdown. So it just worked out perfectly that at that time, Wales was open. The space, the staff, the people in Real were, you know, it, 
just it was a really lovely experience. I suppose because of the changing nature of COVID and the restrictions, that was an absolute nightmare because trying to make something that's COVID friendly in an, in an ever changing world, because at some point panthers were happening that we were going to do it live. But once we kind of committed to online panto and that's where we were going to go, we only had quite a quick turnover. So um, having to write a script um, and cast it, um, also whether they're happy to do a panto in a COVID world you know but that was a challenge and then once you've got the cast trying to make uh, a script that fits that cast so for that one in itself even though it's all the best bits of all the pantomimes that we've done prior to this so a lot of it is the stuff that we love and already tried and tested it still had to have a story to kind of connect and and, and go through rehearsal because of covid you know like face-to-face -face rehearsal had to be managed so we did zoom rehearsals and um, prior to that um, the logistics on the day, you know, having to um, film it in such a quick turnover, that was utterly bonkers and relied on the cast and crew really being rehearsed and on it in their own time, making sure they were off book because we just didn't have the time to be able to go for it like a normal, like a normal show. You said that like we, we only had essentially one take to be able to get our scene right and you know, they said at the very best, if you really, really need to go again, then we can film it again. But because we were against the clock, they really relied on us turning up and knowing what we were doing. Um, but everybody did. Everybody learned what they needed to do. They bought their A game and it, it just, it ran like a dream, didn't it? of Salford buy your ticket support the performing arts because it, it really needs you you know it's not just about this pantomime and what we're trying to provide it's about the arts and beyond because this might be a new way of managing theatre and how we do things because it's all a learning curve and also like support Christmas because Christmas is not cancelled you know we've, we've really tried to put on a really good show and trying to bring that British tradition out there for everyone to see it's an absolute bargain as well. <laughs> yes, it ticket, is. Um, the ticket price of salmon, is it? Yeah, it's £15. £15 pounds for a family. For one household. So, so £15 for a piece of live theatre for an hour and a half to have that experience on your in your in in the comfort of your own home. It is, as you said, it's Hannah, a <laughs> bargain. And we love a bargain.